Good afternoon sports fans, this is just a quick video of a flight I had with the Texemo this afternoon. We had a couple of um, visitors turned up at the field after lunch, a couple of mums with half a dozen kids who wanted to see an aeroplane fly. Unfortunately Trevor had crashed his Spitfire and everyone was packing up but Heath decided to put his little uh, famey Cessna up that he's fitted with a Enya 25 uh, nitro engine. So he couldn't get the thing to take off off the grass. It's just so underpowered, it's not funny. So uh, I decided to put the um, Tech Simo up and uh, show them the uh, video on the screen. So um, this is basically how it went. So um, the takeoff went fine, which is good given I had such a big audience. And I uh, slipped it into um, return to home mode, so it just circled above home while I explained what was happening on the video screen, etc. Uh, they seem pretty fascinated by it all. So I put it into uh, stabiliser mode and uh, decided to do a few uh, low passes to give them some idea of what it was doing. I, uh, This is a section of the farmer's road which I uh, managed to find some power lines on last week and I'm staying well clear of them this time. So coming up to the uh, strip now. I'm just lining up for a relatively low pass to give them a bit of a thrill. So I've got the stabiliser on here and uh, as I'm pulling out of this turn I've got full up elevator on and it's not going up very fast and I, uh, I realised that uh, I really need to be on high rates with the stabiliser on so I didn't miss those trees by very much but um, put the high rates on and everything was okay after that. So the kids um, went away happy. By that time Heath had managed to hand launch his um, little Cessna after busting off the nose wheel I found out later on. So I was still up in the air and thought I'd have a go at uh, seeing if I could get some film of him. So here he is flying down the strip. It's a bit of a uh, kindness to say it's powered by a nitro motor because it isn't really very strong in the power department at all. I'm uh, having trouble keeping flying speed just trying to stay behind it. That's just stalling out there. I think I managed to pick him up again around here somewhere. Yeah, there he is in the distance. Uh, Oh, just overflying. So I catch up with him on the next circuit. I managed to get behind him and slow down enough to keep him in frame for a little bit, even though he tries to escape. And when I try to follow him, I just uh, stall out and uh, have to pull up and decide to. Uh, give it away at that point it's just uh, it's just too slow for me to uh, really stay with it as maneuvering so I uh, just have a couple of low passes and uh, bring it in for a landing and uh, sit back to wait for a lesson in how to land a plane without a nose wheel from Heath
<laughs> Why don't you land it inverted? It won't flip then. I'd go for the grass myself. Mind you, if I know it, I don't want to commit suicide as well. <laughs> You're funny. Thank you for that. <laughs> Hey, could you say that for the camera? No, no, you wouldn't put electric. <laughs> it's up to a challenge. See, an electric guy would put electric in that because they're not up to the challenge. Yeah, they, they don't know how to fly. They forced themselves through the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>